Hello everyone, I'm coming to you today because I wanted to um, share with you something I heard last week in my prayer closet. And I prayed a very simple prayer and it was just, um, well it went like this, Father, what would you have us to do now? What do you want us to do? And the answer came very quickly and it was very short and I'm going to read it off of my notes here exactly how I heard it. I heard in my spirit, I want you to raise a standard and to speak up. And I, you know, I meditated on this for a while. I've been meditating on this and thinking about it for the last couple of weeks. And um, the word speak up means so much more than just opening your mouth and saying something. I began to realize what God is trying to say to us today. He wants his people to speak up to speak heaven's language, to speak from the places of being seated with Christ in heavenly places. So we're speaking from an upper level, the heavenly level. We're not conforming our speech to this world level, to the things that have been programmed into us since we were kids. Because there are a lot of things that have been spoken into us that, um, we, begin, we began to believe to be true. But as we got older and um, we got into God's word, we realized a lot that has been said to us is not true at all. So I just wanted to share with you a couple scriptures here. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Now, transform means totally changed. There's something in this mind that has to be totally changed. And how is it done by the renewal of that mind? Well, we can't have a renewal of the mind if we continue to look to this world for answers. We need to look to the one who created the world. The renewing of the mind comes through the word of God. The renewing of the mind comes through spending time in the presence of the Most High God. Because his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways. But you know what's really good news? is because of Jesus Christ and the sacrifice of his blood, there is now a connection to the heart of the Father and we can be in relationship once again and we can know the Father's heartbeat. So by the renewing of our minds, that's how our minds are transformed. And I also want to share something else. We were talking about this, my team and I, because we're planning for our next event in June. And we're going to start talking about some subjects that um, we believe were subjects that have been drilled into us since childhood. Subjects, difficult subjects. And one of the subjects that we're going to tackle is, um, when does life begin? When does life begin? Does it begin at conception? Does it begin sometime in between while the mother is carrying the child in the womb? Or does it begin at actual birth? So we're going to start discussing some of these things. Because we felt it is time as a team, as a ministry, to speak up. To speak what God says about these questions, about these issues. So, um, speaking up, if we look to Ephesians 2.6, it says that we've been raised with him and seated with him in heavenly places. And because God has raised us, with him in heavenly places with Jesus Christ, we can speak from heavenly places. And what we speak in those places will, will not sound like the things that we speak when we're looking down in the dirt or when we're looking just on this world's level. And it also says in um, Ephesians 1.20, where is Christ seated? He is seated at the right hand of the Father. Wow. And that's where we can be. We can be with Christ 
in heavenly places. So we can speak as Christ speaks, but we have to make the concerted effort to get there in worship, in the word, and to be listening to him so that we can speak up. It says here in Ephesians 3, and I'm going to start with, you know, I'm going to start with verse 14. Let's just listen to some of these words. Let's speak up, and I'm going to speak these words over you who are listening and over myself as I read them. Ephesians 3, starting at verse 14. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask and all we think, according to the power at work in us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. So there is the power of God working in us. And he wants to work through us at this time. And he's asking us to speak up. God bless you. And I can't wait to hear about some testimonies about what God is going to do through you as you speak up. Amen.